Hey all you mentees, this is the Uncanny Omar here from Near Mint Condition, obviously. And a lot of you viewers have been wanting me to make this type of video for a long time now. And that is how to properly open up a new omnibus, new absolute, new hardcover. So that's what I'm going to do today. Please stay tuned. And welcome back all you mentees. Now, I'll be using this brand new Ven Omnibus Volume 2 as my test subject. Don't judge me, there's a Ven Omnibus Volume 3 coming out. And I had a coupon, so I went ahead and got that. But I'll be using that. But before I get started showing you all how to properly open up a new omnibus or hardcover, I wanted to talk about the two different types of binding that they use for oversized hardcovers and omnibus and absolutes, which I've talked about on the channel before. And there are other places, by the way, that have done this before, but a lot of y'all have been wanting me to make this video. By the way, huge shout out to the folks over at the Marvel Masterworks where I learned all this stuff over a decade ago. So the very first one I want to talk about is glued binding, and then we'll talk about the sewn binding, which is what they usually use for these oversized hardcovers. Glued binding, let's see if you can see this really quick, is literally where the pages of a book, of a collection, are glued to the spine of the book. So they are flushed right up against that spine. So there's not an outer or inner spine. Like when I show you all the eye of an oversized hardcover or an omnibus, that's what's lacking from these. Now let's open it up and I'll show you what I mean. When you open a glued binding oversized hardcover, in some cases omnibus, there is no flex in that spine. So it doesn't create an eye. So there's not a curve. And what happens is it affects the gutter. So this area right here is known as the gutter of the book. And what happens is you can't really read or see the pictures that are in that gutter because the book is enfolding the way it's supposed to be if it had been sewn binding. So you get something called gutter loss. And that's what I mean by gutter loss when there's like pictures in there you gotta push down to try to see or words that you try to read. It's usually not that big of a deal when it comes to pages like this where they're separated by panels. But if it's a splash page, like the case in that flash omnibus that I did an overview of about a month ago where the splash page is affected when it's somebody's face, like Wally West's face, it's affected by that gutter loss. And that's not even glued binding, that's just they used a lot of glue to secure the sewn binding at the bottom and the spine. And then we have what is most common with a lot of these oversized hardcover collections, and that is sewn binding. I'm not sure if you can tell, but that's pretty much where all the pages are kind of bunched up together and then sewn into the spine of the book. So when you open the omnibus or hardcover or absolute, the inner spine starts flexing like this and you get pages just folding over really nicely. And the gutter is nice because of that fold. And that comes in handy later on when there's splash pages or when you're looking at the end of an omnibus or a hardcover doesn't want to close on you. So that is the biggest differences between sewn and glued binding. Let's get this book opened. And I want to make one thing perfectly clear first. Normally when I open these Omnis up, I use my bare manly hands. Today I'm using a box cutter for the sake of this experiment. Remember to always cut away. Okay, now we have the brand new Omnibus opened out of its plastic. The next thing I want to do is take the dust jacket off because I'm not a monster. Now that we've got the dust jacket off, let's go ahead and start this process. And what you want to do is lay the spine up against a flat surface, much like a table or the floor if you want to. And then you want to lay down each side one at a time. And hearing that cracking, that's normal. That's just the glue coming undone. And that's good. That gives the spine some stretching. So you want to fold over a few pages at a time. One on each side. And then fold it down just a little bit. So one from the front, one from the back. And what this is doing as I mentioned earlier, is stretching that spine out. Because if you open these up and start reading them from the front or the end of the book, what happens is this eye down here will start shifting over to where you first opened it up and it got the most use for the very first time. So I didn't know like a fool 
I didn't know about this technique when I got my very first omnibus, my Uncanny X-Men omnibus volume one. So I literally, because I wanted to read some of my favorite issues, just jumped towards the end of the book when John Byrne had taken over the book. And what that did is it creased the spine and my eye is shifted over to the right hand side a little more than the middle because the eye is supposed to be in the middle. And that's what you want to see. Unfortunately, the bad thing about doing this is spoilers, right? You're going to get some spoilers because if you've never read this stuff, <laughs> I guess you're going to see, oh man, is that how Venom dies? Or I didn't know that's how he lost the symbiote. But anyway, that's just uh, something to think about too. Before I get those kind of comments, you will probably see spoilers if you're looking at the book. Now, you don't have to be completely OCD and start doing one page at a time. You can start taking some pages down from each side, more than one, and then a few more. Now, I strongly suggest doing this with brand new books, brand new Omnis, or Absolutes, or oversized hardcovers. And if you buy them used, I suggest uh, even doing them on used books too. If you've noticed that the book itself hasn't been read that much, sometimes people read these things and read one issue and they're like, nah, not for me. So the book hasn't been properly opened and the spine hasn't been properly stretched. So you could do it with those type of books. And I mentioned the Marvel Masterworks Forum and somebody had posted a picture over there of how to properly open up a hardcover. And I always thought that was kind of silly. I'm like, whatever, man, these are just books. They're meant to be open. Cause as a, you know, as a kid, as a teenager, as I was in college, I didn't think about these things. And then I realized, oh wait, if I'm paying a hundred dollars retail price for these, maybe I need to learn how to properly take care of them. And that's when I started following that guide. And I cannot remember who it was that originally posted it. But like I said, this was over a decade ago. But I will put the picture up here, and I'll leave a link to that picture in the descriptions, too. Now, editing. <laughs> so you don't have to watch me do this whole thing. But see how we're getting closer to the middle, and then the spine is starting to stretch and come up a little bit? That's what you want to see. And you want to see that eye come up to the middle. So by the time you get to what might be the middle of the book, it will look like more like this. Spoilers, Carnage makes an appearance in this book. So it will kind of look like that. You see that curvature right there? That's what we call the eye. And there you have it, one properly opened omnibus. One other thing I will suggest is that the thicker the omnibus, like something like Final Crisis, you can do this more than once. You probably may have to do it twice. I think I did it twice on that one, maybe even three times. And of course, this is only for sewn binding, so it doesn't really work on glued binding at all. It really doesn't do anything. Now. Some of the questions I've been getting a lot lately, when I did my advanced overview of Wolverine Omnibus Volume 1 reprint and the advanced overview of the Black Widow Omnibus coming out, is that Marvel seems to be using this flat spine instead of their typical curved spine. And a lot of you are like, is that the new Marvel way? Is that what's going to happen? Are all these going to be going that way because I really like the curve. Is this going to matter? Is it going to hurt the spine? And honestly, right now, I don't know the answers to those questions. I mean, other than the fact that I've opened them up and I can tell that it doesn't really hurt the gutter that much, maybe a little more than these because the eye is not as big and in some cases, not really even there. And once everything settles down with the printings over in China, I will be asking those questions uh, to David, like, is this going to be the new standard format replacing these, uh, what, like these curvy spines? So I don't know. And I will be doing an overview of this on the channel on probably Monday. So keep an eye on the channel for that. But until then, keep opening up those spines. And where you can buy those books to get those spines stretched is cheapgraphicnovels.com your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off the cover price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on packaging your books so they arrive safely and in excellent condition, as well as prompt and helpful service. And check out their bargain bin for even greater deals up to 90% off cover price. And for you minties, 
Cheap Graphic Novels is renting a special promotion. If you're a first time customer, let them know you were referred by Near Mint Condition at the checkout and you'll receive a credit for free shipping on your next order. Now this is only for US customers. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discounts, quality shipping and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. Now I hope I was able to teach some of you all some techniques I've learned over the years to how to better maintain these books. Again, not to freak anybody out that these books are going to fall apart after 10 years after I've, I've got some of these since 2004, 2005 and they are perfectly fine. But I think it's a better way to get these opened and for you to have a better reading experience. Again, this was the Uncanny Omar. Please don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button, and the notifications button to let you know when our videos are going up. And we are also on Patreon and Redbubble, and all of that information is in the description down below. And remember, if it's classy and cool, it must be in your mix.